Hello and welcome to a new video, which is going to be the continuation of uh, the video that we did last week about investing in uh, some cards, uh, especially live cards. Uh, so this uh, here, these cards here were the card that um, uh, I showed you last week and recommended a, a couple uh, to be invested in as they were on a two game winning streak and uh, they were on their way for the third. Uh, like I said with these headliners, uh, once a team gets four in a row, it doesn't matter if the player plays in the team or not, uh, they will get a permanent plus one upgrade and that's a one time only thing. They cannot get it again if they, the team does another four in a row, they can't get another plus one. So uh, the opportunity to get on this investment is going to be once and once the team gets that four in a row, you can no longer invest in them in that way. You can, only, you can only invest in them if you believe they will get an upgrade through the player being featured in the team of the week. So from uh, these players that we saw, uh, uh, first I spoke about the Liverpool because um, these two guys were the first, uh, was looking like the first team that was going to get the four in a row because they had uh, both games uh, during last week. So Liverpool won both games and uh, Mo Salah and uh, Genie already have an upgraded version um, for the plus one. So these two cards will always stay plus two ahead of their inform. So once uh, any of these guys get an inform, uh, this will get another plus one. Uh, then we saw Lewandowski. Uh, I said that uh, Bayern is, uh, was on a two winning streak. Now it's on a third uh, game winning streak and they're going into the fourth, fourth one, uh, which looks like a lock. So I already said that Lewandowski is looking like a sure thing to get that uh, four in a row. Um, but uh, he was a bit high. So that was only for people that had a lot of coins. He was somewhere around 9.30, I want to say, um, on Wednesday when we uh, talked about him. But uh, even at that uh, point, he's now about uh, 1.15 or something like that. So he's gone up about 200K, which is a great uh, investment. If you bought that card uh, at that point at 9.30 and you sold at, um, and you sold it now, you would have made uh, about 150K for every card. So it's a good uh, investment. Uh, for a few days. Uh, the other two I talked about was this, uh, these two from Dortmund, uh, Royce and Delaney. Uh, obviously my investments were in Delaney. I bought uh, three of them uh, for under 190. I bought them at uh, 186, 189, something like that. And I already sold those at 252, 255. This card already reached somewhere close to 270, I want to say, but it sold, it's going to sell somewhere around 255, 260. Uh, it might go a bit higher once they play in their fourth game and they're winning. Um, the price might go up by a bit, but I'm happy with that. I made about 200k uh, for those three cards that I bought. Uh, Royce um, was another card, but he was more expensive than uh, Delaney. Uh, he was at uh, 1.4, I want to say, and now this card is at 1.8. So that's a massive boost, about 400K difference. Uh, obviously, if you would have bought that card at 1.4 uh, and sold them now, you would have made like 300 plus uh, for every card, which is a massive, massive boost. And the last card um, that uh, is uh, high now is gonna be this Rafael Baran. We said that uh, their upcoming game was against Atletico, the Madrid der uh, Derby. Um, I thought it was gonna be um, um, you know, kind of hard, but uh, at the end I said that uh, Madrid is going to be the slight favorite in that game. Madrid won that game, so they're now three in a row and their next game is very, very easy compared to that uh, game. Um, so I think uh, they're going to win that one as well. And this Varane is going to go also on the four in a row next week or this upcoming week. Uh, Rafael Varane, when we talked about him, was at 960 and he's now at 1.3. So that's another 350k um more than uh, what it was when we talked about him so that's another like you would have made like 300k for every card so these were all good investments to be made uh the only two that didn't go through that i said was a 50 50 was uh vardy and madison from uh leicester city uh they were playing um chelsea and i said that that's gonna be probably a 50 50 game uh it was kind of a risk if you want to invest uh i think they drew that match so uh, that four in a row is now, well, they were on two in a row, so that's gone. Uh, so they are no longer viable. They are going to start all over again. So now for this week, we're going to see 
uh, a couple uh, guys that are, their team is on two in a row. Like I said, the best time to invest in these cars when it's when they have two wins already and they are between the second and the third win. Uh, the price is still down, so you buy it then. And then after, if they do and if they achieve their third win, uh, the price of the card is going to go up um, in anticipation for the fourth game. And like I said, I always uh, recommend to sell before the third game in the hype when the card is uh, risen enough for you and you get a good profit. Um, it's no point risking it uh, because they might not get that four in a row and the price will dip again. Uh, so already, uh, be uh, besides these uh, three teams, Bayern, uh, Dortmund and um, Real, we also have uh, Paris Saint-Germain uh, with um, its Neymar and uh, Silva in there. Obviously Neymar, his price is already you know off the charts. Um, you can't really touch that card unless you have uh, a lot of coins, but even if you do, that card is already um, inflated. Um, the same with Silva, I want to say, but he's not that high, he's somewhere around 85k. But even if he gets a plus one, it doesn't become a very good card. So I don't see that card um, going very high. If he can find that card, that silver from um, Paris Saint-Germain, uh, the round, I want to say like 75K, it might be worth a buy. He might go somewhere around 90, maybe reach close to 100K um, and you'll make uh, some nice profit there. Uh, most of all, I'm going to talk about uh, th these three cards here which are going to be the three new teams that we're going to see that there are now on two in a row. First of all, we're going to see Mertens from Napoli. Um, Napoli is on two in a row. They're going to have one game upcoming now um, this weekend. Then they're going to have a cup game. And then a week after that, they're going to have their fourth game. Um, I think uh, the next game is going to be a home game. It's going to be an easy game for me. I think they're going to easily get that three in a row. Um, they're coming off a good winning streak. Uh, they defeated Juventus 2-1. Uh, so. I think they're going to win that third game. Um, Mertens obviously is not a cheap card. He's around 760 right now on the PlayStation. But even at, at that price, if you can afford it and when Napoli uh, go on that third game win, I believe his price will go close to a million uh, probably by next week before the fourth game. Uh, although the fourth game is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a way to Calgary. And it's looking like a bit of a harder game, but even that, uh, Napoli should be the favorites there. And I believe they will get the win depending on the third game. So that's a good investment. The next one's going to be Alex Tejas from uh, Porto, a very nice left back, uh, not being used that much right now. Um, but Porto is already on a two game winning streak. Uh, again, they have one game, uh, a cup game, and then the fourth game. Uh, Alex Tejas is about 290 now on the PlayStation. Um, the next game is going to be the tough one. They're going to play Benfica uh, at home. So it's going to be a derby. It's going to be a hard game. Uh, it's looking like a 50-50 to me, uh, like a coin toss with a slight, slight favorite uh, uh, to Porto. Uh, now, if you want to risk it or if you believe that Porto is going to win, um, it's probably going to be a good investment. Uh, because if they defeat Benfica, I believe that the uh, next game is going to be an away game, but it's going to be an easy game. They're going to win that as well. So he's looking like to likely to be getting that four in a row. At 290, if you buy him now, he's looking to be getting close to 400k uh, after uh, if they can defeat Benfica after the third game. So that's looking like another investment with um, a lot of risk, I would say. Uh, because like I said, against Benfica, look, it looks like a 50-50. Uh, the last one is going to be this Jared Moreno from Villarreal. Um, this card is already, um, the, the team is already in a two game winning streak. Um, they have next, uh, what do they have? They have a club game, a cup game, and um, uh, the league game. Um, the next game is going to be Valladolid uh, away, which is going to be their tough game, the third one. Uh, it's another game that it's looking like sort of a 50-50. I'm going to give the, um, an edge to Valladolid of winning that on um, Villarreal of winning that game. I believe they can win that game. They do that. The fourth game at home is going to be an easy one for them to win. So this card is very cheap at the moment. It's only about 28k. Uh, it, it's because it's not that great of a card. But if he does get that plus one, uh, his price will go up uh, definitely. Um, because this card might also get another end form. He's been playing really well this year. So at 28, if you can find him under 28, um, 
it could go close to like 45 50k it might double in price even so it's looking like a good uh investment this one with realistically um there's no downside to it even if you buy it and vrl doesn't win uh, i don't see this card dropping that much if you buy him at 28 he might drop to 25 24 so your losses might be minimal so this might be a card that uh, i'll also look to invest in um, and get quite a few of them because like i said the loss should be minimal if the vrl doesn't uh, get on that third game so we have one card for almost every price range 28 290 and 760 uh not that many as we had last week so i'm also gonna talk about these two guys which these cards are wants to watch a lot of people have forgotten about them but these are also live cards uh Eden, uh thorgan hazard uh Eden's brother and uh julian brandt from uh, borussia dortmund uh like i said dortmund's been playing really well uh especially with the addition of holland uh brandt is like a, a regular in the starting 11 hazard is almost a regular uh he might have um, a game that he doesn't play but then he'll play the, the next uh, one or two games so uh these cards i like him here because they're very cheap uh, brandt is right now somewhere around 25k and hazard is about 20k um i've made investments with hazard before and i made a lot of money uh when he first got his first upgrade and he wants to watch so um these cards look to be a bit inflated at the moment i don't know if uh, people are maybe talking about them being in this team of the week that's why they're inflated i'm not sure uh, but i don't like them at the price that they're now um brand if you can find them maybe under 20k it's a good investment to buy and see if he maybe performs on the, um, a match day and uh he might be a candidate for team of the week uh the same with hazard if you can find him i want to say under 17k these are going to be investments that even if they don't get um, an upgrade or they don't play or they don't play well and they don't look like they're getting an inform if you buy them under that price brand under 20 and hazard under 17 you're not going to be losing anything i don't see them dropping any lower than that if hazard drops to like maybe uh, 15k or 16k you're losing like uh, like 1000 a card so there's not really any risk involved into getting them uh, if you get them though, you have to be on your toes and um, sort of watching the game. Uh, if they score or they give an assist, the card will automatically start rising. So you need to be aware to see if the card is rising. Uh, if you see he's not playing, if he's going to get subbed off, if he doesn't uh, look, if he's not looking like he's going to get another assist or another goal, you might want to sell it because with one assist or one goal, they definitely not going to get in the team of the week, but it will get some hype uh at that moment in fifa so the price of the card will start rising by a bit so that's going to be it for uh, this headliner upgrade for this week uh, like always like i said uh, if there's interest in this uh, type of videos let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can continue that for next week as well so this is going to be it for this video leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe and i'll see you in the next one